Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dr. Wayne. So today we're gonna be watching the first Fighter Pack DLC trailer, which really pissed me off that it's DLC because I actually wanted this character since the um the first Injustice game. So right now we're actually gonna get into the video. Um I already saw it, but I didn't get to record it at the time. Cause my ex I had to read down my exploit. Because they didn't want to work on my other computer, which I had to get back to my dad because this isn't a computer that will let me do exploits. So that was kind of a sad. That was kind of a sad day. So let's jump into this video. Okay. Oh shit, it's sub zero. Oh shocker, it's firefighter. Oh my god, it's Red Hood! We finally got him! I like how they redesigned Red Hood for Injustice. They didn't give him the oversized bat symbol, which I'm pretty sure you can put on there. Because, as in the other gameplays, you can change the way the symbol looks. So I guarantee, if you actually like the way the um, the Red Hood had the, well, Red Hood had the bat symbol on there, I bet you can put it on there. So don't worry about that. Um, I like, I just like the simplicity about it. It's just the, it's the armor. It's the um. It's just the way he, um, he is. It just goes back to the classic way he used to look. Because I grew up reading the comics where he just had the brown leather jacket and the fucking helmet. I never knew him. I, well, I read the comics where he did have the symbol, but I just remember the old times where he didn't. He was just the badass Jason Todd that we knew. And a lot of people miss the, just the simplistic Red Hood, no bad symbol. Because everyone's favorite Red Hood movie, the only one. Actually, is um is under the red hood and you know he doesn't have that symbol but uh I like how they didn't go all futuristic tech like they did with Arkham Knight where he was just all tech he wasn't really and he had a hoodie like really red hood you, you guys gave him a mask and a hoodie but uh I like just the way they just redid design the character the helmet's fine I think the character design is just perfect game. Starfire, I'm glad to see her finally in the action game because I really, I grew up on Teen Titans and I remember she used to be a badass character and the people always complain how she kind of looked there and then and how she didn't look like the comics. Right now, I think she looks fine for this game. This is her first game so I wouldn't give her really much, I wouldn't give her much shit for that. Um, and Sub-Zero kind of looks like a color swap like the original um, of Scorpion. Just changed the I bet you can change it to something else too. I bet you can get the original Mortal Kombat 9 skin from him. I, I don't know. Maybe you can make. Ooh, maybe. Maybe they have a, a thing where you can turn him into a noob cybot. With a. Uh, with DLC. With another DLC or skin or maybe customize him to make him look like noob. I, I don't know. But for right now, I think it looks great. I'm super excited. I'm really mad at this DLC though. I bet they'll have like an extended, like the Ultimate Edition will have everything. So I guess I have to get the fucking Ultimate Edition when it's cheaper. I usually just do, I usually do get the Ultimate Edition later in time when it's cheaper. Because I'm not spending 130 bucks on characters. Although I would pay 5 bucks for Red Hood though. Five, I'll pay 5 bucks for Red Hood, Starfire, um, Spawn, if we do get Spawn. Some people said we're getting Azrael, but I don't believe it. Um, I bet if we do, we'll probably get the as we'll probably get with as armor too, which would be really awesome to see. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Dr. Wayne, and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you know people who love injustice.